Hello, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Flat World Challenge. And the point, or at least my goal, is to collect tw 20 gold blocks, which is 80 gold ingots. At the moment, my current uh, objective is to build a... Oh, I've already botched this up. Is to build a safe area. I don't have any way to get down, so I'm going to have to break it down. I need sticks. I do not need bones. I might at some point later. I guess apparently... What? Why the... Get away! Apparently... Uh, occasionally... Saplings will appear. Just get rid of all this stuff. Go away. In uh, chests as well, and apparently diamonds too. So, I seriously, I seriously doubt that obsidian will appear. It'd be awesome if I well, if I could find diamonds, I can make obsidian with the uh, lava that sometimes appears at blacksmith forges. And if I could make a diamond pickaxe, I might be able to harvest the obsidian and then find more diamonds to make an enchanting, enchanting table. Okay. Needs to be like this. I just need to. Ah, uh, I need that sort of shape so that I can put ladders up without falling down. Make it a lot easier to climb up. And I want to be far enough up here so that they won't be waiting for me at the bottom. I should kill that chicken for its arrow, uh, feathers so I can make arrows. And... Oh, I still have to go down, though. Uh, great, great deal of folly here. Hopefully I should, ha I should have enough ladders. That's, that, that is what should be, what should really be dictating how high this is, is how many ladders I have. This is good enough. I don't need to replace that. Just in time for nightfall. So the previous videos have been very action-packed, where I'm basically running from my, for my life constantly, being chased by slimes in particular. Just look how many slimes there are. And if you stand still long enough, they begin to, like, come at me. And just imagine all these slimes around you in one of those tiny houses, and you've got to figure out some way to escape. It's... it gets pretty crazy... I say it like irritates me a lot, but it's, I'm actually having a pretty good time. The only thing that's genuinely irritating and I don't like is the sound of the slimes slapping and slopping. It sounds like some kind of... I don't know. This weird... Okay, time for some torches. And hopefully, the idea is that this will be my base of operations. But I'm not quite sure... I'm not even confident that I'll be able to find my way back to this place. It's probably... A wide enough structure. I'll need to make it just slightly wider. To build some walls. It's too bad you can't collect broken uh, glass panes, so I could make some 
windows. So there's no sand normally. This is not going to be a very glorified structure. It's going to be the basics. I could make stone, and even stone bricks, I suppose, if I uh, used the wood as a fuel in the furnace. But I don't, there's no point really. This isn't for us. There's no aesthetic goal here other than making the golden Mendel sponge, which is what I intend to do with the 20 gold blocks. So I don't really need to make a nice looking house. Just something that'll keep me safe away from the irritating noises, and high enough so that when I come down to the bottom I won't be mobbed to death. It would also be nice, wow this is going to use up all of my cobblestone. Oh, I should, yep, I'm going to need more. I don't really need a roof unless it rains, I suppose. But... I'll take this stuff down though, because I do need some spare cobblestone for making tools. Okay. Well, I'm going to brave the lower lands. Get that chicken, mainly. Yeah, I expected something along the lines of a creeper. Where'd that chicken go? Way over here? In the danger zone. Okay, chicken. Gotcha. Ah! to make some arrows, but I'll need more flint. I can always dig up more gravel, that's not an issue. But that'll give me four more arrows, so that's definitely worth it. I'll go fight some this skeleton and spider. Spider first. Maybe a bad mistake, maybe a mad... Uh, I don't know if that was worth it, but I got some more arrows. Excuse me a moment while I cough. <coughs> Ugh, weird, weird freezing of the screen there. I could even use some windows, can I? Yeah, let's do that. And then I'll make that bed and sleep and then all the stuff like the skeletons and zombies will die. The creepers will remain, but I can deal with them. As long as there isn't as long as they're not hiding in anything and I don't let them creep up behind me. Should be good. There's a group of skeletons over there. They'll give me some good amount of arrows. And there's another chicken. Shucks. As well as bones. I don't really need bones. This is good though, I thought there would be more stuff dropped. And here come the slimes to ruin my day. So 
So I am thinking about getting a little more cobblestone, just a stack. And I have my for my structure, my hit HQ. So I don't really need to carry too much cobblestone at all, no more than a stack. So all I really need to do is get some quick stuff, and there's no there's no slimes in abundance around me, so I can do this quickly. They'll rapidly begin to appear, though. There's no mistake about that. Also, should get more flint. I will need arrows. Arrows, I think, will be valuable. Let's get as much of this as I can quickly. Eat, because I could get hurt. Okay, not quite yet. Just need a little more. Almost there with the cobblestone. These villages are just looking all messed up though when I leave when I'm through with them. Okay, here it begins. Starts off the small guys, but then they just If I could just sit here and w wait for them, would they just start appearing or or slowly coming towards me? Yeah, I got plenty. So, I'm going to look for a new NPC town now. Over in this direction. Hopefully I find some more gold ingots. So far I've found, I think, four towns? Four NPC villages and only one gold ingot? I'm going to have to find a lot more villages. I mean, at this rate, 80 gold ingots, 80 times 4. That's a fairly ridiculous... What? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I hadn't been picking up the arrows because I wasn't picking up the feathers. I don't know what kind of logic was going that was, but more arrows? So if I could find, like, a sapling in a chest, that would uh, certainly be to my advantage. I would be able to begin to start some kind of farming situation. But I can't really build any, I won't be building any farm systems, really, not any orchards. Because I have to constantly travel to new era, areas, so that's why this, uh, oh, speaking of which, I have to leave breadcrumbs. Otherwise I won't be able to find my way back. Just what we were talking about, or about to talk about. So, you know, I have a HQ there, but that's only because I will eventually be, I guess, storing excess supplies there. Such as, namely, food and wood. Because I can't carry everything with me in my inventory. I won't be leaving stuff like the gold ingots. I need to carry that with me all at all times, just in case I do get lost. Oh, dang it, I need to make, I need to spread these out, but not that far apart. Okay, well anyways, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.